Metabolic syndrome is increasingly common, affecting one-third of American adults. Metabolic syndrome is a bunch of diseases that occur together and increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. These diseases include high blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Having one of these complications does not mean having metabolic syndrome, but it indicates a greater risk of contracting a more serious disease. If you have at least three of these symptoms, you have metabolic syndrome. Stay tuned to PARS Health TV to get more information about this health disorder. Signs and Symptoms Most disorders associated with metabolic syndrome do not have clear signs or symptoms. One of the visible signs is a large waist circumference. If blood sugar is high, the signs and symptoms of diabetes, such as excessive thirst and urination, fatigue, and blurred vision, may appear. Chest pain or shortness of breath suggests cardiovascular complications. Acanthosis Nigerians, the creation of dark spots on the skin, especially increased areas that sweat a lot, excessive hair growth, peripheral neuropathy, decreased sensation in the hands and feet, and retinopathy, damage to the retina, in patients with insulin and glucose resistance. High blood pressure or type 2 diabetes is also seen. Xanthomas or xantholasma are seen in patients with severe lipid disorders. Causes of Metabolic Syndrome Metabolic syndrome is highly associated with overweight or obesity and physical inactivity. It is also associated with a disorder called insulin resistance. Naturally, the digestive system breaks down the food eaten into sugar. Insulin is a hormone that is made by the pancreas to help sugar enter the cells and use it as fuel for the cells. In patients with insulin resistance, the cells do not respond to insulin normally, and glucose cannot enter the cells as easily as before. As a result, even though the body produces more and more insulin and tries to reduce blood sugar, the blood sugar level increases. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's see what the risk factors for metabolic syndrome are. Risk factors of metabolic syndrome. Age. The risk of developing metabolic syndrome increases with age. Race. Some races are more susceptible to metabolic syndrome. Obesity. Excessive weight, especially around the abdomen, increases the risk of infection. Diabetes. If a person develops diabetes during pregnancy or has a family history of type 2 diabetes, the possibility of developing metabolic syndrome increases. Other diseases. If a person has non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, polycystic ovary syndrome, or sleep apnea, the risk of metabolic syndrome increases. Diagnostic methods. According to the guidelines of the U.S. National Institutes of Health, metabolic syndrome is defined by having three or more of the following factors, including those that are controlled by medication. A large waist circumference. Waist circumference greater than 89 cm for women and 102 cm for men is considered large. High level of blood triglycerides. Blood triglyceride levels equal to or higher than 150 mg DL, low level of good cholesterol, HDL, in blood, less than 40 mg DL in men or less than 50 mg DL in women. High blood pressure. Blood pressure 130-85 and above. High level of fasting blood sugar, 100 mg DL and above. If there is chest pain, shortness of breath, or lameness, symptoms indicating complications of metabolic syndrome, there is a need for other diagnostic investigations such as electrocardiography, ECG, at rest and under activity or stress, ultrasound, vascular or echocardiography at rest and under activity or stress, and cardiac spect or PET. Also, investigation of other causes of aggravating factors of this disease should be considered. For example, sleep-related breathing disorders such as obstructive sleep apnea are increasingly being added to metabolic syndrome risk factors. Management and treatment. If any of the components of metabolic syndrome are present in a person, lifestyle changes can prevent serious health problems such as a heart attack or stroke. Regular physical activity. Health experts recommend at least 30 minutes of daily exercises, such as brisk walking. But it is not necessary to do all exercise at once. You can use any opportunity to increase daily physical activity. Losing weight. 
losing 7 to 10% of body weight can reduce insulin resistance, blood pressure, and the risk of diabetes. It is also essential to maintain this weight loss. Healthy diet. A healthy diet such as the Mediterranean diet, on the consumption of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains with high fiber and fat-free protein and limiting the consumption of malted water sweetened with sugar, alcohol, salt, sugar, and fat, especially saturated fat and trans fat are emphasized. Stop smoking. Quitting smoking improves a person's overall health. If you need to quit it, you can get help from a doctor. Reducing or managing stress. Physical activity, meditation, yoga, and other activities can help manage stress and improve the physical and mental health of the patient. Medication. If lifestyle changes aren't enough to control symptoms, your doctor will suggest medication for treatment. These drugs for high blood cholesterol, LDL, are statins, lowering the level of good cholesterol, HDL, niacin, increasing triglyceride levels, niacin, fibrates, and omega-3 fatty acids. These substances increase insulin sensitivity, such as metformin. The reason why metabolic syndrome is dangerous is that having metabolic syndrome increases the risk of developing the following diseases. Type 2 diabetes. If an obese person does not change their lifestyle to control their weight gain, they may develop insulin resistance, which may increase blood sugar levels and eventually lead to type 2 diabetes. Cardiovascular diseases. Cholesterol and high blood pressure can cause the formation of plaques in the arteries. These plaques make the arteries narrow and stiff. Doctors say that this can lead to heart attack and stroke. Continuing a healthy lifestyle can prevent conditions that cause metabolic syndrome. A healthy lifestyle includes at least 30 minutes of physical activity most days. Consuming plenty of vegetables, fruits, lean protein, and whole grains, limiting the intake of saturated fat and salt in the diet, maintaining a healthy weight, and not smoking can help you to prevent this disease. Feel free to share your ideas and opinions in the comments section below. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe to our channel. Are you looking for more amazing health-related videos? Don't forget to watch more of our videos on the left and right of your screen.